Hello everybody, welcome back to another video on the channel. In this video, we'll be doing five things to expect from Manchester United's tough away game at Luton Town. That was a huge game for Manchester United. Another three points needed as we continue our momentum. It's going to be tough, but I think hopefully Manchester United got to what it takes. But let's get straight into it. Now, the first thing to expect um, is... There's a change in the back four now. Obviously, Luke Shaw absent, potentially absent anyway, is gives Manchester United a huge issue. Um, I think Luke Shaw's been probably one of our. He's he's crucial to that back line. The left footed player is so important to Ten Hag's system, and I think him missing in the game is going to cause a lot of problems for us. Um, obviously with Malassia injured as well, it's looking like Lindelof will be playing that left back position. Um, it's rumours that Luke Shaw will be in the squad, so that's, that's a hope. But I wouldn't risk playing him anyway because we don't want to uh, prolong the injury. We don't want to make it worse. It was a precaution, so I'd give him all the time he needs to fully recover before him being in the squad. Um, so, yeah, that's the first thing to expect. Now, the second thing that we expect um, is a threat from Luton. Now, we know Luton have struggled um, to find form recently. I think, I think they... Um, they they play some good football. I mean the the quality that they show is really interesting. Um, I think they play some good football at times. The Rob Edwards has got them playing in a way. I mean they can score goals. They've got their own threats. Um, I think Adebayo is a huge threat for them. I think he's pacey. He's really quick as well. Can score goals. Um, headers physical and he's just a nuisance. I think also their two wingers Ogbeni and um, I think it's Jordan Brown. They've got um Andros Townsend as well. They've got some really good players on that side who can cause problems. And that's a huge issue for Manchester United. I mean, the quality that we've shown defensively recently hasn't been too bad. But I think there's definitely vulnerability to Manchester United's back line. And it's all about limiting them in a game like this. Um, now, Luton, as I said, they offer, offer some big threats. Um, and I think Ross Barkley as well in that midfield is all about how they transition the ball. And they have scored, they scored three against Arsenal. Um, and yeah, one of their biggest threats, which I haven't talked about yet, is probably their ability from set pieces. I think Luton are absolutely probably one of the, probably one of the best teams in the league for set pieces. Um, they they're really good from from corners, and that's something Manchester United have struggled with over the past couple of seasons. I think defending corners is really tough, especially for Manchester United. I think we can see a lot of goals from them, um, and that's something that we need to be we look out we need to look out and hopefully defend. I think. Um, their crossing is really good and Gabriel Osho, obviously Ted Mengi, a former Manchester United player. Um, they've got some physical players at the back who can score goals. So that's something that we need to be aware of. Hopefully having Maguire in, they will help us. Varane as well, quite tall players. Onana's got to be commanding. Um, and that's something really important that we need to see because we can't, once we concede goals, it is really difficult to get back in the game, especially in the way ground at Luton. I think Manchester City... Um, struggled there as well. Arsenal, Liverpool, Tottenham. So there's big teams struggling there. And Kenilworth Road is a tough ground to grow to. So, yeah, it's all about how we approach the game and hopefully we approach it with the right mentality in order for us to get the win now. The third thing to expect um, is probably McTominay to come in. Now, I talked on the preview. Eric Den Hag might look to bring McTominay in, especially for the physicality from corners, as I talked about earlier. Um, and the fact that he can score goals. I mean, he's popped up with some important goals for Manchester United and being physical... Um, in that midfield, something that we might need. You may see Kobe mainly drop to the bench. Now, that's something I don't want to see. Um, I think kobe has been fantastic this season for Manchester United. And we found some real momentum with him and potential. Um, but Eric Ten Hag might look to bring in McTominay. Um, Kobe's still a young player, still developing. And it might not be beneficial to start him every game now. I think McTominay does offer a, a threat from corners. Um, I think he's really good from long shots as well. I mean, he's a player who scored some vital goals for us. And I think in a game against Luton where it's going to be a scrappy game, it's going to be a physical game, maybe having someone like McTominay and Casemiro in that midfield department will help us massively. And yeah, that's something that Eric Ten Hag might look to utilise. Um, his height, his strength um, against a tough Luton side. Now, the fourth thing to expect is um, the same front three. Now, there's rumours that obviously... We're looking to get in a winger. Um, and I think we're, I'm happy with the front three. And maybe Garnacho is not comfortable on that right. But I think what he's showing is certain, certain he's a player that can play there. Um, and I think and I think it's it's a tough position to play for Manchester United. We haven't really had a natural right winger. Um, and I think Garnacho is doing a good job there. I think the, the other front three is working well. 
they're slowly starting to find a solid connection um, and that's something that you want to see you want to see a fluid front three i mean they're, they're the points that's going to win your games the goals um as well as the defense as well but it's a team performance I think the the attack are starting to find some goals. We've seen some consistency from Hoyland. We've definitely saw potential, so there's some hope there. And now the fifth and final thing that I expect is probably goals. I think Luton, as I said, they're a team that scores loads of goals. They found some great form. I think they scored four against Newcastle. Um, they've obviously scored three against Arsenal. They've, they, they, they are a huge threat, and I do expect it to be a very, very tough game. Um... And there will be goals, I believe. I think Manchester United, as I said, we're slowly trying to find confidence in our attack in the midfield. I think our threats from crosses in from the box, especially from below, is a huge threat. And um, I think Manchester United will be looking to do something like that in a game like this. I think it's a huge game for Manchester United, an important result needed. Um, and we need to build on that momentum because we have struggled in certain away games. I think we've won our last five now. And it's all about building consistently, trying to limit the goals that we conceded in. Just build up confidence because that's something that ho hopefully we need to see. As we progress up the table, I think we're only like a few points off Aston Villa now for probably five. Um, so it's just all about what we can do in terms of winning. And we've got some huge games coming up. I think we've got Man City on the horizon. Um, so, yeah, there's some big games coming up and it's all about winning every game. Now, Luton's going to be tough. As I said, they have their own threats. And it's something Manchester United need to be wary of um, because we will, we will concede. Um, Probably, most probably, and Luton are a definite threat. So we need to be, um, we need to look out for all the threats they may oppose. Play a good way of football. And just see if we can score goals and beat this Luton team because it ain't going to be easy. But thank you for watching. Leave a like, comment, and subscribe. Stay tuned for more videos. Let me know which videos you want to see. Um, and yeah, huge, huge game for Manchester United against Luton. Probably a tough one, of the toughest away grounds to go to in the Premier League. Such a hostile atmosphere. But thanks for watching. Peace.